Hello, Lieutenant Jones from Utah County Sheriff's Office. I'm here today with Sergeant Spencer Cannon, also from the Utah County Sheriff's Office. Say hello, Spencer. Hello, Spencer. I'm gonna start out just to tell you that we've done about four takes of this now, and all four takes we thought, hmm, it was way too long. So here we go. We need you. You wanna work for the Utah County Sheriff's Office? You wanna be a patrol deputy? Spencer's about to tell you how to do that. Ready, go. Okay, we're gonna have a link included for this uh, posting that will show you if you're interested in becoming law enforcement with Utah County Sheriff's Office in our enforcement division, you can either work in patrol, investigations, our judicial services, or emergency services, which includes search and rescue. We believe there's a lot we have to offer uh, people who wanna work here. And we believe that there's a lot of people out there who have a lot to offer the public and they can do that through the Utah County Sheriff's Office. Between the two of us, we have 60 years of law enforcement experience. That's a long time. Ooh, that, uh, ooh, yeah, that, that hurts my heart a little bit. However, 60 years between the two of us, and I have to tell you that neither one of us got in this profession to get rich because you're not going to. We didn't get in this profession for, for anybody's praise because that's not why I chose to do it. I know it's not why you no. chose to do it. We did this because it was the right thing to do. I'm here because I want to be in a world that I can make a little bit better, one smile at a time, one direction at a time, and sometimes one arrest at a time, and that's okay. Spencer? Yeah, same thing. Uh, people don't always like the help we have to offer, uh, but we believe that it is help, that it's necessary. Uh, that might be giving somebody directions who's lost, or it might be taking someone to jail that Lieutenant Jones mentioned. Uh, but whatever it is, we believe that what we do does offer people a chance uh, to improve their situation. We hope that even if it's not something like going to jail, that they feel like they're better because of their interaction with us really is simple. We need people. We need good people. If you're good people, apply. If you meet the qualifications, let's do this. Anything else to add? No, I agree. We, we love it here. Uh, Lieutenant Jones and I both are here because we want to be, because we love what we do. We love the opportunity to interact with the public and, and help those who might have a need. Uh, and you can do the same thing. We'll ask one thing of you. We'd ask you to share this video. If you're on Facebook, please share it. If you're on, if you're on YouTube, please like and share whatever you're going to do. With that said, be kind to each other and don't do bad things. Always do good things. Hello, Sergeant Spencer Cannon here. We are doing a solo version of Jeff and Spencer. Uh, obviously, I am not Jeff, I'm Spencer. But what we want to talk to you about today is uh, something that we are trying for a first time here, and that is talking about a specific job opening that we have here at the Utah County Sheriff's Office. One of the reasons we wanted to come up here into Provo Canyon is to give people who might be interested in this particular job an idea of where their office may be on any given day. Now, everybody has a, a physical office, a headquarters, if you will, where they have a desk and computers and things like that. Uh, the Utah County Sheriff's Office has a jail. That's part of our office in Spanish Fork, but we have several other offices. We have uh, contract cities that we do work for. Uh, the biggest ones of those are Eagle Mountain and Vineyard City. We have Cedar Fort, Elk Ridge, Woodland Hills, Goshen, Fairfield are the other ones. And so we have a variety of things that we do, but I'm gonna to touch on those here just to let you know, if you happen to be in a position where you're interested in something like this, or you know somebody who might be interested in a an enforcement job with the Utah County Sheriff's Office, uh, to put them in touch with us. So uh, an enforcement position, there's a variety of things that we have here at the Utah County Sheriff's Office that uh, might be that would be part of our enforcement position that we're hiring for. Uh, one of those is investigations or, or detectives, and we have uh, detectives who cover the, the things that people most often think about, you know, the property crimes, uh, financial crimes. Uh, also, we have a, uh, a unit in the sheriff's office who do special victims investigations. Those most typically are sex crimes involving children and adults as well who uh, have been victim, uh, victims of sex crimes. Um, we also have our patrol division. That's probably when we talk about enforcement, the one that people think of most, uh, most often, and that is uh, deputies who are most of them driving marked uh, patrol vehicles that say Utah County Sheriff on the side of them. And these are some of the areas that we cover up here. Uh, we're in Provo Canyon right now on Squaw Peak Road. And uh, this is some of the area that we have responsibility to cover. We work with the Forest Service in these particular areas here, 
but there aren't very many Forest Service enforcement officers. They cover a huge area that's bigger than Utah County. And so we do the, the bulk of the enforcement work in the Forest Service areas, in addition to some other areas that have uh, a variety of state lands in, or public lands, including state land, uh, BLM land, national forest land, even national monument land, such as uh, Tempanogos Cave National Monument in American Fork Canyon. Uh, we have judicial services. That involves a variety of things, uh, paper service. So if somebody is uh, being evicted from a property or if they, they have to be served certain kinds of papers, either a protective order or things like that, then uh, our judicial services folks do those. Also in our judicial services division, uh, we do ext extradition. So if somebody commits a crime in Utah and then they either flee or they just move to another state, and they interact with law enforcement there and they discover that there's a, 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 a warrant here in Utah for them, then uh, people in our judicial services uh, office will go and extradite them and bring them back. So that's a, another part of what they do. They also provide court security. Uh, the sheriff's offices in Utah are statutorily obligated to provide uh, court security in state courts. So uh, the districts, you have first, second, third, fourth here in Utah County, we're the fourth district court. So the district courts in um, uh, Provo, Orem, Spanish Fork, American Fork, uh, the Sheriff's Office provides uh, court security in those facilities, as well as the juvenile courts in Utah County. Um, emergency services is another part of uh, uh, where we have enforcement uh, responsibilities. Uh, you get stuck or injured up in the mountains or you get lost uh, in these mountains here behind us, then uh, our emergency services will come and help find you. In there we have Search and Rescue, that's a volunteer organization. We also have the Sheriff's Mounted Posse. We have the uh, Sheriff's Communication Team uh, that provides radio communications for us. And we have, uh, uh, we have a Volunteers and Police Service that uh, our citizens who, who decide that they want to be a part of uh, volunteering and helping, uh, helping the public. So there's a, a broad range of opportunities uh, at the sheriff's office, if you decide that you you want to apply for one of these enforcement positions, or you know somebody who is interested and is looking for something like that, uh, I can tell you after uh, more than 30 years here at the sheriff's office, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Uh, enforcement in and of itself, some of the specific responsibilities are the same as you might have with a police, a city police agency, or uh, a statewide agency. But with the sheriff's office, you you live local, you get to cover areas like this. Uh, we may have uh, people up here doing uh, some of their responsibilities, either patrolling or responding to calls up here. And then in the afternoon, they may be out on the west side of the valley, uh, but uh, or the west side of the county. But it's an incredible opportunity. The people who work this love it. We have people who have come here from other agencies. Uh, we have people that come uh, to our enforcement uh, division from the jail as well. Um, if you're interested in that, or you know somebody who is, Put them in touch with us and we'd love to have them apply and give them an opportunity to work with us.